Okay, ladies, so this is what I will be organizing for our collaboration. Um, so I did this about, it's been over a year and I had actually done this here and somehow I got completely out of control. So let's get started. Okay, so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna like work one bin by one bin because I'm not one of those type of people who wants to pull it all out, have it just thrown everywhere and then put it, I have four kids and the littlest one is, he's just crazy. So I know I'm gonna have stuff everywhere and he can, he'll bring the store, he'll get on it, he'll try to reach for things and it'll just make more of a mess. So I'm just gonna pull out and work one bucket at a time and then I will get right back with y'all. Okay ladies, so in this section I'm kind of pretty much done. Um, all I did was like really just take out stuff that I didn't need, which wasn't a lot. It was a few packs of beans that I had got that somebody had given me, which I don't even make beans. Um, as you can tell, I love me some canned beans and that's actually my kids favorite beans right there. Texas Ranch style beans, of course, H-E-B brand. Um, so I'm just gonna donate those to somebody who will want them is pretty much what I had on there. Either, um, I picked these up from Tupperware this, I'm gonna say it was maybe about a month or, go, a month or so ago and I've been wanting to use them. I was really excited when I saw this one because it's actually pretty tall and I was hoping I would be able to use it for my spaghetti there but I'm actually just using it in this canister so I moved that square one here. I actually started, I used it up here to add to my baking one so I just have two extra sections there now um, because they didn't fit in that one so I'm a little bummed. Uh, this one just has my teas in it, um, herbal teas, so I do like those. Again, um, we do do tea time, but what I'm really liking is this. Let me just go ahead and show you here. I have several different kinds in here. And here we are. I am really loving this. If you have an HB in your section, this Delight Berry Bloom White. I love this one. As soon as you open it up, you can smell it. It smells wonderful and what I do with it is I actually brew it you know I'll brew it hot and then I will um this clicks click earlier let's make sure it clicks sure if it's a little bit harder while I'm holding the camera in my hand there we go got that okay so I just brew it warm and then I let it cool down and then I serve it over rice so it's pretty neat this one's a little bit taller I have this for the extra noodles and whatnot and I do have them mixed because it is it's really not that big of a deal I'm gonna use this one for my pancake mix, which um, when I got the box, but the reason I wanted these to begin with is because in my box I was having, for some reason now I'm getting these little sugar ants in my home and they're driving me crazy. Well, my pancake mix was full of them, so I have to buy a new one. So that kind of shows for that. This one now is, I have no idea what I'm gonna use it for because I was intending to use it for noodles, which I don't. The only reason I have barbecue sauce over here is because these were on sale for like a dollar. So we stocked up and if you can tell, it says Memphis on it, Memphis barbecue sauce. If you follow me, you know my son's name is Memphis and that is his favorite barbecue sauce. I'm gonna have more acts, I'm gonna be using, getting to this more often. And so I don't need my barbecue sauces there. Every time we open one, they go in the refrigerator anyways. Uh, it's after they're open, so it's pretty good there. We're down to our last three. I think we bought 10. So that's kind of, that's sad or good because we live in Texas. So barbecue sauce is always really needed. Here I just did the regular, um, I left it the same, I left my baking stuff in there. Um, that's an extra baking one, I had it here if you remember, but since I consolidated the section, I actually used it for extra. And then instant, um, I have like, as you can see I have the, okay, well, there we go. okay, there we go. Um, I have cornbreads and then anytime I get the instant rices, yes, I use instant rice every once in a while just because I like to just, it cooks like in 10 minutes and then I just add fresh vegetables or whatnot into it so I like it but I did the bags of rice I did have here I ended up putting them in my other containers that I have out on my counter because they're easy access to since I've already have them um, so I want to show you really quick how I kind of store stuff um, I do love containers obviously I like containers but I am a big jar person so in my this is our honey jar this is um, one of my honey jars that is obviously empty. I used it to store like candles and the food coloring. I will have more come um, the, the more of the holidays, but just because if they melt or anything or they open for whatever reason, they're gonna stay in a jar and I like that they're, they're able to stay that way. Another thing is I use these little pencil holders. I had these in a big jar 
what happened to the jar and it looked so pretty it was in a big old um, mason jar is when my daughter was um trying to use it this past couple months she dropped down the jar and it broke so i haven't replaced it but right now i'm just using this pencil jar and i just have them set in there for all my cupcakes but i definitely like the jar idea so i'm definitely gonna get one of those again because it looks really pretty they're just set in there they are a little pain to get to so i kind of like this idea better for um easy access but um and I could have a whole nother row. As you can see, there's definitely a room for another row of cupcake liners there. I like the jar idea because it's pretty. But this is definitely easier. And I just have this stuff in my baking um, container here. So, Okay, so in this side of my kitchen here, I have this section. Again, this is another user error system. Like, I had the bins going. I had everything on there. Um, but... Like, I guess I would finish my seasonings and I just left it here. I just have stuff mixed in with stuff. I'm just tossing things in there. So again, user error again. So I'm going to just go ahead and clean this up really quick. Um, I don't really have a way, like, for you to actually sit here and watch me. I mean, because I'm going to be just tossing back things back and forth. So it's really not going to be anything. But you're going to stare at at, you're going to be staring at the same scene, basically, because I'm going to be going back and forth. So just might as well skip to... Um, stop it and then I'll show you afterwards what it looks like okay so here is the end of this section um, I really again it was just cleaning out stuff I have our regular tea here this is for um, brewing and this is my little tag I tore it during the cleaning process so I'm gonna have to make another one of those um, I'm not sure I think I'm gonna just buy some new labels to go all the way around I have I have new labels I'm just not sure if I like them in this thing so I'll definitely put an update in or I'll let you know one of my um, one of my videos coming out or not whether I decided to go with new labels um, straws are a big thing in my house those are actually our drinking straws if you can see back here I have um, I just have them in this regular jar here these are our play straws and um, these ones we use them for math or whatnot for counting and then I have play cups. These cups I got during Easter here, um, but my children love to play with them. We play stacking games or whatnot. Again, we use this during math. So I have those and then I have a bag of toothpicks that they play with. I got that idea from, um, from over at, oh, I'm gonna mess up the name and I'm gonna mess up the, I will insert the name in the video on top, right, right here. <laughs> That is who I got the idea from. I um, She mentioned that she lets her kids play with them on the table. So I like that idea. Of course, I just have regular toothpicks in there. Once again, I am a jar person. So I do have my spices here. Now, um, I have been using baby jar foods for a while. Just because. But I was using them um, in for... What is that stuff called? I can't talk today baking powder no not baking powder baking soda i was using baking soda and a few inches of essential oils and then i was poking holes in it and then i was like a shaker for me and i was able to go in and sprinkle it in like my on my carpet before i vacuum or sprinkle it in the kids shoes or just in areas that i needed to be sprinkled and then i would vacuum it up so i really like that but um this is actually mexican oregano guys this is not what it may look like to some people it's not I have Mexican oregano and then I have regular oregano and I really love these jars right here but they're so expensive and they don't make like every seasoning I use all the time in this jar so I think if I ever catch these on sale I'm just gonna buy them dump the seasoning out and um put the seasonings I want in them so that way I can have these uniform and then maybe have them kind of sectioned out but I do like my daily basket because I can just grab it and put it where I need to I just have one cookbook my husband gave me like years ago and it's the same cookbook i've had forever um so i like that my bags i don't like them in boxes so i just have them again it's in a bin like this back there and i just have them in their trash bag plastic bags of block bags so that's pretty much it that's all i have going on and the only reason sam and dean are sitting here with this pasta is because this pasta was open but i'm gonna make that for lunch today so it's not a big deal i just needed him somewhere to sit so that's why he's sitting there but he will be moved today so that is it for this collaboration, guys. Again, watch the playlist down below and everybody's. I'll have the playlist and the links down below. Um, if you like this video, definitely like, um, comment if you want to see more um, 
collabs like this or if you want to see more videos of the um organizing definitely let me know in the comments down below i hope you enjoy and watch everybody's links down below guys thank you